You can see right now, this is the iPhone 16 Pro, and this is S25 Ultra, and this is the S24. But today, we are not comparing the S25 Ultra versus S, um, iPhone 16 Pro. We are just first, uh, we're just doing a comparison between Samsung and iPhone. There's few things that iPhone cannot do, but Samsung, I've been doing that for so long, and I'm not sure why they don't have it on, the on these features on the iPhone. So I'm gonna mention five to 10 things that is missing and I wish iPhone has this features, okay? So let's get started, let's dive in. What are the things that iPhone doesn't have and it's very, very annoying. First of all, we do not have any fingerprints on this iPhone. So every time, let's just say if you're driving or sometimes like let's just say the phone is actually on the desk, you cannot unlock your phone until you put your face on the top and you can unlock your phone. Or else, there's only one way to unlock the phone, it's the pin. And that's it, there is no other way. You don't have password, you don't have patterns, you don't have fingerprints, you don't have any way to unlock this phone unless you use your pin and your face ID. But when you think about when your phone is flat, you have to put your face or you have to tilt your phone upward like this to unlock your phone. So it's quite annoying. But on here, you, there's six different ways of unlocking the phone. And secondly is, I would like to mention is the bottom bar right here. And I know iPhone users, iPhone lovers, they always love doing this. And then you can do like, you know, a swipe gesture, just like that. It's pretty cool. However, they actually forgot that you can actually put button at the bottoms. So let's just say if I want to, let's just say turn on the camera, I just press this, go right down there, and now this is my gallery. On here, yes, I know that there's a action button right there. However, we have an action button right there at the side too. But if I want to add some button right at the bottom here, I cannot do anything because there's no button, like physical button like this, I cannot add anything. And right here, you can see, I can add anything I want at the bottom here. I can add cameras, I can add screenshots, I can add anything I want. And let's just say if I want to do multi-windows, this is actually number three. I can do multi-windows just like that. And then when I press this, now this is the multi-window. I can do two app at the same time. However, on the iPhone, you cannot do two app at the same time. That's why for them, it might not need this. However, on a Samsung device, you need this because once you want to pull like a multi windows, it's easier to put it off, right? But however, on this one, it doesn't do anything. And one of the very, very annoying features that I think iPhone doesn't have, and maybe I'm wrong, is the side gesture. So in here, you see there's an arrow right there. And those arrows, you can actually assign a lot of different features, okay? So if I pull like this, if I pull upward like this, if I pull downward like this, there's a lot of features as hidden. However, on the iPhone, they do not have features on the side. So you cannot really do anything. It's just basically just a button on the side. So let's just say there's buttons on here and here, okay? And then there's like few buttons right there, and then that's it. And these are all the buttons that they have on the iPhone. However, if you actually check it out on Samsung, one hand gesture, they have all these little features, you know what I mean? So you go down, you go down, you go sideways, you go upward. There are so many different features that you can set it up. And on iPhone, they don't have any. So what makes iPhone, uh, what makes Samsung so much better is because of the widget. So now I'm gonna show you that this widget or even this widget, they basically do the same thing. And when I actually do this, I can actually start talking to them. I can see what song is playing. I can do translate. I can do whatever I want. I can press this and then I can start searching everything. However, on here, you have to do a, go to a physical Google to search your thing. Go to Safari and start searching something. But there is no actual fast way to pull this off 
and then start doing everything. I, it doesn't do that way, but in here I can start, you know, circling. I can start asking questions. I can start typing NHL and things like that. Everything will start popping up so fast by just pressing this home button. Doesn't matter which page I'm on, I can do that right away. A Samsung device is not because the phone is lagging, it's just that satisfying to close everything and reopen everything out again. But however, on a and uh, on an iPhone, as you know, they do not have that. The most they can do is it, you can use the three fingers and swipe up and that's how you close the window. I mean, on iPhone, they already tried to do that, but however, they do not have close all and I'm not sure why, but however, closing all doesn't mean because the phone is lagging. It's just that, hey, I want to start brand new. I, I want to start fresh. That's why I want to close all the windows and that's it. But however, there's only one feature is they only can swipe three apps at the same time and that's it. However, on here, it's like you can press close all and then that's it. So the final thing I would like to, the last thing I would like to show you is it's actually customizations. I know on the iPhone, now the iOS, there's a lot of customizations and things like that. But however, they do not have customizations like this. So if you look at my Samsung, I have this like really cool um, YouTube studio with the hockey player on it, right? And that's pretty cool. That's called customizations. I can put whatever the pictures on it, and then that's it. I can put a picture replacing WhatsApp. I can put a picture replacing TikTok whatsoever. But however, if you look at on iPhone, they do not have that features. They only can customize whatever they want you to do, or it's free. But however, if you want to customize per I, like app with different pictures, they do not have such a features. And which is pretty um, interesting because you pay so much money on this phone. However, you cannot do anything with customizations. You know, these are the stuff that on my Samsung phone, every daily basis, everyday daily basis that's what i use on my phone however when i reach on this iphone there's few things that i find out that it's not even there and you know i hope apple can do something about that please subscribe my channel and share this video and i will see you next time bye bye peace out